Hi, my name is John Elizabeth Cincy, and I'm the author of the poetry collection June Bat, the novel Vanishing Monuments, and the forthcoming My Volcano, which looks a little bit different in Canada. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, writing as a way of finding oneself, especially when it comes to queerness. For me, writing is really tied up in sort of my self-discovery, um, explicitly because of Vanishing Monuments. So this was a novel I started in 2014, and I was sort of gently and very softly calling myself genderqueer at the time, but I don't think I'd really like certainly thought that deeply about it. And something that I was really interested in was the idea of sort of identity and the sort of fixity of identity. And I came up with this idea for a story with this gender fluid character, because I thought that was a really interesting way of thinking about this sort of fluidity of identity and the sort of lack of certainty and a lack of sort of solid ground that some people experience when it comes to identity. And I think most people experience that because of that. So it wasn't something that I came to necessarily, at the time I didn't feel like I was coming to it as a queer person, but as an intellectual. Like it was something that I was really interested intellectually in. And as I was writing this book, I do, as all good writers do, I did a lot of research. I read some new stories. I learned a lot more about what it means to be trans, what it means to be non-binary, all of these things that you know, I now call myself and enough and are featured in the book, you know, I had to like l learn how to write a character that I thought was different than me. And in many ways, Alani, the character is different from me. Um, their experience of gender is not exactly mine, but I learned a lot about this sort of ideas of, about queerness by just doing, writing this book and rewriting this book and having to sort of more generously understand my character a lot more. And as I wrote it, I really came to an understanding of how this sort of like gap between me and Alani, like as I kept writing the book and as I kept doing research, got smaller and smaller. And eventually it was just, it, it really coincided with my having to sort of come to terms and be like, I am non-binary, this is who I am. I use they, that pronouns, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also like, I think gave me a lot of comfort in terms of my own sort of like sense of instability when it comes to gender, which was just like not the thing that I went in, went into the story going for. And I just encourage everyone, every writer, if you think you're queer or not, if you just feel a little bit weird, writing I think is a really great way to discover yourself uh, and to just sort of experiment in a really safe way. Like writing this non-binary character really gave me an opportunity to think about existence in that sort of way without having to sort of like materially try that myself because I'm a bit of a coward when it comes to a lot of stuff. Um, it was just a really safe space for me to do that. And I highly encourage people to sort of follow their, follow their gut and go after things that sort of like weirdly fascinate them because you may learn something about yourself in the process. And at the very least you write about something you care about. So that's my little spiel. Thank you for listening. Have a good one.